So the idea actually generated a couple years ago with uh, Barb Landis and I, and we uh, we thought that we needed a way to incorporate our some of our life skills and special ed students into kind of getting them into the regular education classes just a little bit because they kind of seemed very self-contained. So we wanted to come up with something that allowed them a little bit more interaction with the computers, with the kids. And I've been doing yearbook for 19 years and we thought what a great way to maybe do something special for them. And when we saw the grant we thought this was a great opportunity because obviously the cost of producing a book is a little expensive. Um, a great way for us to get the hands in, maybe get a camera for them in their hands and uh, allow us to create a book for them. So in addition to having this Making Friends and Memories book that we're going to create, we wanted to really establish a relationship between the kids and my kids and those kids and build that connection. So that's kind of the ultimate goal of the project is first the connection and then ultimately through those experiences create a book, a memory book for them of their high school experience. Proof is an opportunity that third graders have to really investigate the scientific method using something that they really care about animals. And so an expendable animal is a hermit crab, sad to say, but a lot of students have a wrong idea about what a hermit crab would need, um, gotten some bad information. The top thing I knew is we needed some more working Chromebooks so the kids could have pair access to Chromebooks at any time. So our school had eight um, for the, the assigned to third grade. So we were able to get four more from the grant, which gives us 12 and it allows us to have, you know, pair collaboration, uh, use of the, the um, Chromebooks and the students take turns every day signing in. Plus is a great opportunity to bring our families and our children together to learn strategies about how to read with your children. We're working on strategies that's character setting, problem solution, but what's so exciting is that we're selecting books that also integrate our habits, our leader in me habits. So we picked books, so the first time was character, and so we picked books with strong characters that also would feed in with our habit of being proactive. The funding directly benefited our children and parents by purchasing the books that we gave to the parents and the children to take home. It's hundreds of dollars to purchase beautiful trade books that our children could keep forever. Where am I? Can you relate to either of these circumstances? Do you have a passion and a purpose to find your way around the school? Then this app is for you. Try the new QR map code. I wonder where to go. I wish I had directions. Hey look, the QR code. This young fellow is a fun example of how to use the new QR for map app, for map app, for map app, for map app. Simply find a QR code and scan it and then you can find directions of wherever you go. I don't always use the QR map app, but when I do, it works. Fit for Life was a program we started here at Asa Packer. Uh, I'm in this unique opportunity. I actually get to teach every single fifth grader math. So from the most able, excited learner to the most challenging, struggling learner. Um, and so one of my goals was to make math ex exciting and accessible to all kids. So we were able with our grant to buy 11 Fitbits. So the kids all take three week rotations. So they're you know, motivated to keep moving and be healthy, but also then we're tracking um, our, our, the information it's giving us. So we're creating authentic data that we're going to use for our graphing unit. Um, and in addition to just having the numbers and being able to display them, it's also opened up a conversation about really critically thinking about our data. 
you know, what would be the lowest numbers anyone would get? Is there a floor we can't go below, and why is that? Is there a ceiling we can't break, and why would that be? Well, the award helped us buy the equipment, absolutely. We wouldn't have been able to do it otherwise. Um, the idea kind of came from walking in the beach, you know, during the beach this summer with my husband and, you know, kind of uh, snowballed from there. Talking to my principal, you know, we talked about the opportunity and this seemed like a great um, way to get the equipment in our school to really help make math more exciting, more engaging, and accessible to all. So, you know, all fifth graders are going to have a turn with the Fitbits. Um, so that was an exciting piece to me that, that BAEF really opened up the doors for that. My Freedom students um, wanted to be able to go down and teach middle schoolers about engineering to get them interested in so that they would know what's possible in the high school. The grant allowed them to have the resources to be able to do that. So it funded um, teaching resources as well as a 3D printer so that they could print their creations once they were done doing the design process to create them. Uh, we found a workshop online and we tweaked it to personalize it. And this workshop um, has students creating their own invention and they get to go through all parts of the design process and ultimately 3D print it. So this is similar to the brainstorming and the design process that we use in Project Lead the Way and it makes them more comfortable doing the work and it gets them used to what they're going to have to face in high school. Shark attack is um, the use of a mass shark and I did not have mass sharks in the classroom before. Um, they're little devices that are supposed to simulate what a shark looks like but they run through the functions of addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, percentages. Um, so it's really something that it'll run the gamut for the child learning to do their addition and subtraction basic facts and beyond to regrouping and that sort of thing. But then it also helps the child who needs enrichment. And they're able to very quickly skip through those areas that they already have mastered and go on to the ones that are more challenging. Without the grant, which I am so thankful for and so pleased that I was given the opportunity to purchase the sharks because um, the sharks themselves to furnish for a classroom were almost $900. And as a teacher, I would never have been able to do that on my own. But by being awarded the grant, my children have been given this opportunity. One of the things that just truly makes my heart smile is what the children say about it. And yesterday we were talking about the sharks, knowing that um, you were going to be coming to our classroom today. And I said, boys and girls, just tell me what you think about the sharks. And I will tell you, I expected the fact that they helped me get better at addition subtraction, and now I'm working on multiplication. But some of the things I got were just like, oh my gosh, this is coming from a second grader. I have, it's giving my brain exercise. Um, it says here, it really makes me feel good because I know I'm getting better. Um, another one, I'm faster at addition and subtraction. One of the girls goes, it's just sharktastic. And I thought that was a ton of fun. And um, just helping me learn. And another one of the children said, I really was struggling and the shark has helped me to get better. And if that right there sums it up for all of the children, just thank you for the grant.